today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play the Fort Condor minigame within Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, I'm going to be playing it on the hardest level, on the hardest mode as well. So, what happens is you play four of them, and then you beat four of them, and then you go back and do them all on hard mode. So, that's what's happening right now. We're going to go into the game now, and I can show you how this game actually works and operates, and hopefully we can get a win. So... On the left, you've got Condor units, which are your allied units. And on the right, you've got Shimmer units. Now, the first thing I want to point out is in the top center of this screen right here. You can see we've got a sword, a bow and arrow, and a shield. This is showing you what's effective against what. So, sword is effective against bow and arrow. Bow and arrow is effective against shield. Shield is effective against sword. Then, what you do is go over here and have a look at what their loadout is. So, as you can see, you've got three villainous vanguards, three, two evil enforcers, two rotten rangers. Usually... You would build your team against that, but for this video, I'm going to be going all out attack, so I'm not really bothered. I, I would usually just put Enforcers mainly, so I'd have Cloud and Barret maybe or something like that. I wouldn't really use Tifa, so I'd pick something with a load of Enforcers. But for this video, I'm going all out attack, so we're going to ignore that. But if you are struggling, maybe have a look at their team and see how you can capitalize on it. Because they do have a lot of mini bosses as well. So what we're going to do... Here on the left, you've got hero units. You can swap them if you want to. So Cloud and Barret, Cloud and Tifa, and Barret and Tifa. For this video, I am going to be probably using Cloud and Tifa because we've got a lot of um, uh, enforcers in the loadout that I want to choose. Underneath, you can see we've got our headquarters and our outpost. We've got uh, vanguards, elite vanguards, rangers, elite rangers, enforcers, and elite enforcers. We've also got clerics. Trebuchets and ballistas. Now you're looking at that trebuchet thinking 110 damage. Just get a load of them out and just smash it. But no, the ballistas sometimes are a little bit better, arguably, because they fire in a straight line and the trebuchets fire up and over. So sometimes you'd miss the target, if that makes sense. So another thing that you can do if you're struggling is just up here, you can see that it says balance, offense and defense focused, assault, offense focused, Safeguard, defense focused, and entrench, stronghold, defense focused. That is to protect your back rank. But the idea of this game is to get as forward as you can, as fast as you can. I like to use either assault or the safeguard defense, but also the balance is quite good as well. But for this video, I'm going to be using the offense focus. So we've got three vanguards, three elite vanguards, uh, three elite rangers, two enforcers, two trebuchets, and one cleric. And now it's going to be quite easy for us to summon... Um, Cloud and Tifa with these and I'll explain that in just a second so I'm going to begin the skirmish right now hopefully I get a win here because this isn't easy trust me it might take you a few times but I'm sure you'll get it just by using these tips so here I'm going to place an enforcer to start so on the right you can see what enemies are coming now you can see there's an enforcer coming first but behind that there is a, a cleric and a a vanguard let's call it that so that's why i'm putting the enforcer down first because when that when that enforcer comes i'm going to be matching it and hopefully the trebuchet hits it a little bit and then the vanguard's going to come and then i'm going to absolutely batter the vanguard with this guy i'm going to have a cleric behind as well a trebuchet there and i'm also going to have a, a cleric here as well so hopefully this holds out and now we've got two dogs coming on the left side. So, yeah, as, as you can see here. Sorry, one second. As you can see here, on the right, this is the right lane. And on the left, the left lane. That's how you can easily do it. On the top left, you've got your ATB gauge. And then underneath, you've got your uh, heroes and their charge. You need to full, fill up that charge by summoning. So, as you can see, if I click Enforce it here, you can see it's flashing yellow. That's how much of the charge it's going to give that gauge. So, when that's full, we can then summon Cloud. And then same with the Vanguard's. You can charge Tifa's up and then we'll get Tifa out. So, we are just going to keep pushing on here a second. Now, these two fox things, we're just going to ignore them. These things we're just going to ignore. What we'll do though, we will put like a, a trebuchet down this side. Alright, let's go and see what's going on this side. I think we're still good. I think we're still good. Yep, yeah, the big guys fell. So, see, these just run back and attack your back rank, but... They can usually deal with it, so it's nothing to really worry about. We are going to drop a Vanguard here to take care of this guy. And now already we are up at the back there, but we have lost one guy there. So when these guys get dealt with, which should be right now, this will charge back forward. 
Now we need an enforcer there for him. Now we can get a... We'll, we'll save the cleric for now. So here now we've got problems. Here we've got some serious problems. So we're just going to try and build some charge up for now. Keep an eye out on them lanes as well. So we've got a few things coming in now. So we need a, another sword. Get another vanguard out there. Try and keep them at bay. Maybe we can use... Oh no, no point in using the cleric now. Right, so the big guy's down. So we're going to try and get Tifred out to deal with the rest of them. Or can we get Cloud out? Yeah, we've got enough to get Cloud out. So we're going to get Cloud out right now. And hopefully we save the trebuchet. We didn't save the trebuchet, but Cloud is now out. And he is fighting for us. So we're going to run forward now. We're going to try and get a trebuchet right in the center here. To fire at the boss. And what else can we summon out now? We need to get one more Vanguard out. So we get the elite vanguards out now. And now we can get Tifa out in just a second. Let's get a little bit closer. Get Tifa out. There she is. And now we can take care of the outpost. And now we're going to go over and try and fight the, the main guy. We don't have any more trebuchets left. We do have clerics left though. We've got two more of those left. So we'll try and get two of them out. Just to heal up our characters. Got a minute left to try and beat this guy. Right, so Cloud is down. We've still got Tifa. We've got another Elite Vanguard coming in. I'm just going to keep attacking. The other Cleric's down. Tifa's down. I don't think we've done this. I do not think we finished this. But we can give it a good shot. Get an enforcer out. Okay, I think we have definitely lost this one. Can we get one more out. There we go, get another ranger out. That is the wrong person to be attacking right now. Come on. Come on, enforcer. Come on, enforcer. Come on, enforcer. And we did it. There we go. That was tight. Now, that is on the hardest level. So, it is going to be tight at times, but that's how you do it. That's how you figure out what it is you're going to play and how you play. Hopefully, this helps. I mean, there's going to be people out there who are just going to absolutely smash this and be able to do it within with 20 seconds left to spare. But this is just how I do it, and I hope that it does help because it's not the easiest thing to do. But yeah, let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.